Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. We left off last race, the third race of 10 at Maple Ridge reversed. Uh, so far currently with the points lead by one over Intanon, Hashim in third, and we are fourth, 26 points back from the leader. But today, today we head to Spadopolis. And Spadopolis is important because we should, as long as we don't screw up our pit stops, have a very good day here. We qualified pole by uh, less than a quarter of a second, I believe, if I remember correctly, over Sofer. So we get the extra bonus point there, and we don't have to deal with all the traffic. Now, again, we should have the advantage here at the Oval, but we've said that in past CSBS seasons and uh, ended up losing the race in the pits. So we just got to be smart about it. I'm a little out of practice in when I should actually pit or not, but we'll, we'll find out. Here we go, we are off and running. Should be a rather quick race. 21 laps, but they go uh, pretty quickly. This is basically our Indianapolis 500 of the season. And we're going to have another oval this episode as well. Uh, two races from now at Bullseye Speedway. That's basically, I guess, the IndyCar Iowa maybe we could compare it to. It looks like New Hampshire to me. That's what I was calling it when we were racing the NASCAR season. Which you should check out, by the way. We did the whole NASCAR playoffs format and so on. If you haven't watched that season yet, I was pretty proud of that one. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it. But we're out to the lead. Not too much of an issue here, really. As long as we get pole, we should uh, run away with it. We just got to keep an eye on the fuel when everybody's pitting because they're going to have uh, drafty draft which so far isn't an issue for us. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a trio, I believe, working together in terms of the draft there. Can I push this one more lap? I'm going to push it one more lap. We do have somebody pit stopping. We got multiple pit stops. Intanon's in the pits. All right, so we got to lap seven. That's good. So we can turn it into a three stop. I didn't want to pit early. And this is a very dangerous pit lane entry. Oh, we ran out of fuel. All right, so I cost us a little bit of time there, but we're good right now. Oh, man. All right, we're going to we're going to lose a little bit of time. I'm going to get this to 100%. And uh, hopefully we didn't cause too much of a ruckus for us in terms of uh, the pit strat here. A lot of people in the pits. We're going to cycle forward plenty of positions here. Look how busy pit lane is. And we're going to have momentum against anybody who's just exiting as well as we follow Marco Diaz with some of the draft help. We get under them to make the pass for fifth. Diaz not that happy about it, but hey, it's over and done with, my friend. We're on our way. All right, so we got jumped. We got jumped. Intanon out front, but they are going to have to pit early, I believe, unless they stretch this run. I didn't want to pit that early just because I don't want to run out of fuel at the very end, <laughs> which ends up being the case sometimes. And I could definitely coast a little bit. Once I get up into the draft, we could save a little bit of fuel for ourselves. Uh, we definitely lost some ground there. Do I get the, uh... Oh, I can't do that. I keep thinking in Carding Superstars, the extended... I'm, like, pressing buttons. The freaking extended standings. I want that in this game so bad. It just helps with commentary. All right, we got the low fuel warning, but I'm going around again. Got around Hashim. There's Sofer up there. All right, a little bit of better pin entry. And we also did not run out of fuel, which is good. All right, who's that? Is that Intanon right there? Yes, it is. So Hashim's going an extra lap this time. Come on, 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 come on. I'm just getting 100. I don't care. We can make up the time. All right, so we have some ground to make up over this final stint. 
We have some ground to make up. Oh boy. Here we go. There, midway down this front straight. We got about a half straightaways lead on us. P4 still, huh? Oh, Hashim actually jumped us as well. They took less fuel. All right. We got some laps. We'll get we'll get that draft eventually. Bring us up to this group. Just going to have some clean laps. Don't wreck the car. Oh, there's a cone. Get out of my way. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I've had that happen to me before in one of these CSPS races. Uh, all right. We should get some draft this time. There we go. Ooh, getting a little nervous. We got some work to do. I got to make a daring pass. There we go. And they are stuck behind some lap traffic. Let's go, Chris Murphy. Let's go, Chris Murphy. It's an gets a that's a wall riding penalty. We just shoot to the lead thanks to Chris Murphy and their slow pace. The back marker. Championship implications. Oh boy. Gotta be careful. I'm almost celebrating a little bit too early. We got one lap to go. I hope I have enough. I hope I have enough. Oh no. No, no! Oh, gosh darn it, so for I should have, I should have coasted a little bit entering the turn. They would have had this been stuck behind me. Oh, they just got us at the very end. Yeah, that was silly on my part. I should have been coasting here and there just to save that little bit of extra fuel. Just tough to do when you're all out on the track. Like I'm not off the throttle at all the whole time. Ah. Oh. So close to the win. We really needed that one. All right, we're at the Copperwood. Beautiful Copperwood. Uh, this got a little bit of a facelift uh, towards the end of the development cycle of Circuit Superstars with the uh, the water and the rocks and so on, the beach side. We qualified second, so for getting that pole. Not, it was pretty close, honestly, and I was pretty happy with it for uh, being a little bit out of practice at Copperwood. I think the only thing I lost time was the uh, the first turn. I didn't get to take it on full throttle. We got a, into Sofer there. Got to be careful about the damage, but we're okay. We're out of there with a 97, and we get the lead. Oh, they're going to take it back this round. They got the advantage heading into this final turn here. Oh, we keep switching switching spots around this whole track. I feel like we've been too wide at multiple points. Almost shoved. <gasps> oh, Antonon, major wreck into the wall, and they almost land on top of us. Huge damage to our car. Hashim hits the inside wall, sends us wide. Oh, we are down to the 70s. 71 health overall. Sofer's going to run away with this one. Galan is trying to fight their way ahead of us. They see all the leaders are, are damaged. It's their time to strike. For their own point situation. Trying to get sponsors for next season. Oh, Hashim! Oh my goodness, what chaos. Uh, we might need to pit. We might need to pit. We might need to get off sequence. I'm going to pit. We're down to 51. Our pace is going to be way too damaged. I don't even know what to do with this. We're going to have to do some quick thinking here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, get that fixed up. Get that fixed up. Get that to 100%, and we are off and running. Sofer has a major lead now, and we are off sequence. Some big damage, some big wrecks early on in this one. Oh, my goodness. Intanon absolutely annihilated the wall and just shot across the track and almost landed on top of us. And we have to take advantage if, if any of them are staying out. Now, we got a lot of others also hitting the pits. Trying to fix some of that damage, I think. So we came in on lap four. Just to keep an eye on, like, how long our stint can go. Alizolia, you're slowing me down with your damage here, buddy. A past champion in the CSBS, but not here today. 
Okay, we gotta take advantage of this. Some people went in a little bit longer with some damage on their cars. We've already cycled up the fifth. Is anyone else still out there from that original stint? Sofer's just hitting the pits. But they didn't get any damage from that. They had clean racetrack and were just pulling away from everybody. It should be a Sofer victory. Outside of if they get slowed down or maybe damaged from some lapped cars. We're actually going to cycle to the lead for a moment. It's a false lead, but we can slow down Sofer, which would help our cause here. We can keep them behind us. It's going to be a tough, uh, tough job, though, with fresh tires on Sofer's vehicle. But we'll do our best to hold on to the lead here. 34 fuel. We almost, oh man, if we actually tried to get back to, nah, we had, we were down to 50 on health. Oh, uh, we overshot that. I, I did not take that turn correctly. I think it was a good call coming in early. We're just going to have to extend one of our runs a little bit. I mean, do I even extend this one? I think I'm going to, I think I am. Oh, it might have been a mistake. We're going to have to save fuel big time. 15. Oh, boy. What did you do here? What did you do here, Bearder? 12. Some fuel saving. 10. Okay, we're good. All right. We extended that stint. So now we should be a little bit more on sequence with the rest of the race. Hit those pits. Clean stop. Eh, it's not the best. They still have to walk pretty far. Oh, boy. Get that to 100. And we are off and running. Now we're back to ninth. And we came out ahead of Palazzola this time, so that's good. Well, this GP didn't go the way we wanted it right from the start. That's racing, though. You get some unexpected things happening. What a chaotic start to this race. Oh, my goodness. And we got a lot of cars on different strategies. So now we're up to P7 with some of them hitting the pits. Chris Murphy, the hero of last race, now slowing us down. As they hit the pits. Sofer's in the pits again. All right, we made up some ground. Let's go. Should get better and better as we go along here. I'm almost thinking about extending this one, too. Because I feel like... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Lap 13. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm driving awful. Up the P2. Oh, Sofer got out of the pits before. We, uh, we didn't make up a lot of space on them. Dang, they got out of the pits real quick that time. Maybe if I save just a little bit on certain turns on this lap, I don't have to do it like crazy the next one. Just coast through that one a little bit. Coast through this one. Coast here. And we're going to go around one more time. There we go. Coasted. Coasting. Straight line. Coasting. And we should be good. And we're going to hit the pits. Nice. Quality work. All right, we need a good stop this time for sure. I have no clue where we're going to finish. Not a good placement in the pit stall. Oof. I ain't taking no risks. 
Hi. Two... Two fuel short. I wanted to get to 100. That could play a big role here. That was silly. Sofer's in the pits once again. They're going to get out of there before we even get around. So this, this is Sofer's race. It just was handed to them on a platter. The whole field just got absolutely screwed over at the start of that one with all the wrecks. Ooh. Dang, that would have been nice to get ahead of Hashim there. Slow them down a little bit. Don't mind if I do. That was an awful turn. Got a little bit of air under the tires there. Going off the, uh, the dirt on the inside. We got a long ways to go on this fuel run. And Farid is probably so annoyed with us. They're probably so frustrated behind this blue number four. <laughs> Get this guy off the track. Hey, we're playing our role. All right, we gotta get two laps out of this, out of this fuel tank. It's gonna be pretty tough. I gotta do some saving. Oh yeah, you wanna play rough? Wanna play rough? Wanna play rough. There you go. Little bump and run. I gotta get off the fuel, the throttle. Out of my way. Oh boy, alright, we gotta defend like no other. We have to defend like no other. I don't even know who that is behind them. I'm trying not to look. Oh, we overshot it. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. That's right. That's right. P2, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know how we held on to that one. Two fuel, two at the line. Woo! That was wild. Who had the fast lap? Did we? I think we might have. That's another point there, too, if we did. And uh, 96 points for Sofer out front, but we are catching up to the top three, at least. Since not at 80. Ashim 71. We're in the 60s. Oh, boy, what a race. We're at Bullseye Speedway. This is the probably the last solid chance at a victory I'd say outside of Spadopolis and that one didn't work out for us lost by less than a second so we got to make this one count we got pole it's an on in second qualifying ahead of Sofer and if we're going to make a win happen this is where it's going to be most likely so we do we have pace here it's all going to be about fuel management and pit stops Making sure I don't make a mistake on pit entry. It's pretty tricky here. You can get in the grass and spin easily. It's also real easy to mess up when you're pitting and uh, running out of fuel. The AI can just save a little better than I can in general, fuel-wise. So it's always a little bit of a disadvantage when we're filling up, topping off. They can just get out of the pit so much quicker than us. Or go an extra lap sometimes. I'm going to let off every once in a while just to save a little fuel, but I don't want to give up this space advantage because I need it for when we fill our full ta uh, fuel tank. Oh, man. So we'll get the low fuel next time by. But I might, depending on what the fuel says, might try to extend it another lap. Yeah, I think we're going to go one more lap. 
Just extending this first stint a little bit. So we can make up. And it's an on. It's actually going to hit the pits. On that one. And we got to nurse this one around to this pit entry. Don't mess this up. And two. There we go. Yeah, they caught up a lot there because we had to just get off the throttle a little bit, not to run out of gas. Oh, a little out of the box. We got to get this to 100, so they're going to skip over us. 99. I want every little ounce of fuel, though. I'm not happy about that. I would have rather just gotten the 100. I always push it. Intanon got a nice jump on us. We push the sheen to the side. We can't mess around. They're too wide behind us. That's good. Oh, I was not paying attention enough. Almost hit the wall. Hello, Intanon. I'm back. See you. Oh, man. Okay, so we're just going to get to this next... We probably have two more stops, to be honest. We're going to do a full fuel run here, and then we're kind of in an awkward set of laps from there to the finish that we'll probably split. Just try to get to the end. Actually, I think I need to save just a little bit here to, so we can extend those laps a little. Or maybe not. I don't know if we have to. There's Intanon. We could probably pit right now. And not have issue. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. No use in risking that. Oh, they made up so much ground on us there. My sloppy pit entry there. Good pit stop, though. They didn't have to move around for us. Do, 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 do. I didn't want to have to worry about fuel. I didn't need that much, but we'll make it up in the draft. There's Intanant. So Hashim jumps out to the lead. And just a few laps to go. But we're in the draft. We don't have to worry about fuel. We got freshies. And we got 100% health. Let's try to get this dub. Shoop. A little, little sneaky move there on the inside. Ashim's pulling us on the draft. We let them know we're here. Sofer's letting us know that she's here. And we take over the lead. 19 laps of 21. It's going to be two to go at the line. And the Bearder Racing number four is out front by two car lengths. Oh boy, we got lap traffic here. Gotta make quick work of this. We saw what happened at Spadopolis to the other leaders. White flag, one lap to go. Nakamanzi, we've always been good to each other, right? Thank you. And we're gonna get the dub. First checker of the season. And a big points day for Bearder Racing. Oh my goodness. Give us that fast lap point as well. And we are one point out of the top three. Potentially making a run at second place. It's going to be a little tough to chase down Sofer at this point. But hey, you never say never, right? Silk Sport GP. This is going to be a long race. One of the longer tracks in the game. Sofer got the pole. And you're not going to see us for a little while. Because unfortunately, on the last turn of qualifying, I got a corner cut. And it sent us to the back. 1.5 seconds penalty is a killer. And uh, I think we were top five pace. Right up until that, so that's unfortunate. But we got to make do with what we got. We got to wake, wake our way through the field. Hopefully, not take up too da too much damage or be slowing down too much before this field breaks apart. I'm kind of hoping for some free spots like that. Maybe we'll get some corner cuts from the AI. 
that open up the door for us early as they all race side by side. Don't throw us into it. Oh boy, almost got turned around there. That was scary. And we're down to 93. I gotta be real careful. We got, uh, I forget what percentage the damage is on, but it's pretty high. It's not at the default. I try to give myself a little bit more of a challenge in terms of contact and punish myself. If I move the AI out of the way, I should have some damage to slow myself down, for example. So that's why I always did. But I think it's a little... I can't remember if it was 150 or 200 that I dropped it down to. We often play at 300% damage, which I don't know why I do that to myself, but it makes it interesting for sure. It also hurts the AI too, which I think is cool. I think sometimes if the leader catches some lap cars and runs into the back of them or something, it could create a fun scenario. doesn't always happen though. Went a little wide through there. You can see the line starting to rubber in here. It was so cool. That was like this, not the selling point, but one of the absolute selling points for me of this game. Long-time viewers will be rolling their eyes like, how many times do we have to hear about the track and the rubber on it and all these things? This guy's always looking at the grass getting torn up in games, the... The tire's looking old. You know, it's the small little details. It's the small little details that really make you feel like you're actually in a little little world when you're escaping in video games, and I love it. The only thing I... I Legend Bowl, the football game we, we often play. Man, I wish that field, like if you played on the grass field, I wish the field would deteriorate. That would be so cool. I know it'd be so hard to pull off, but it'd be so cool. Random blast from the past in terms of football games, NFL Fever. Oh, I forgot that we qualified last. NFL Fever, basically, like if you were on grass, I, I think they'd have dirt footprints wherever they, the players stepped. So by the end of the half, it was like wherever all the lines were battling and so on, the field would look all torn up. It was so cool. It was a little extreme, but I loved it. It was different and it was cool. That game looked really, really awesome for its time back in the day. I don't know if I still have that or not. I might have actually, unfortunately, had sold that at the time, not thinking ahead. There's a lot of games like that. You just don't think about it when you're younger. Like, yeah, I'm not going to want to do a nostalgia trip to play this later on or, you know, have a YouTube channel eventually that I want to check out some of these older games with. No, no. All right, we're up to P6. Looks like four laps is going to be our limit in terms of the fuel. So we got a large number of pit stops. Relatively clean race for us so far. I think we just got to keep our our head down and keep uh, trying to hit consistent laps. And as I'm saying this, I'm distracting myself and starting to have some uh, ugly turns here. And hopefully we can move up some spots. We're not going to win this race, but we can salvage as many points as we can. We're going to have one more time around, I think, until the next pit stop. Whoa. Man, when you try to get every little inch, it's so scary. But look how much momentum it gives you when you do play it risky a little bit. We got away from that battle with Gonzalez, at least for a moment. That was slowing us down. If we can work our way to Diaz here on this lap. If I do that turn right, we should be able to just full throttle through that whole little segment there, but I keep messing it up. I hit the pits. Oop, bad, bad pit stop once again. 
Hmm. All right, I think some of uh, the drivers that were around us are maybe on some different cycles here. There's no way. The Diaz really have that better of a stop than us that they just destroyed us. Uh, Hashim's pitting. Ooh, got a little loose. Caught the curb. The pink rims look so good. I'm glad that I added that in. I was just going to go black rims like usual, but I like the pop of color. There we go. We're making up some spots. There's Diaz. If we had a better outlap. Oh, they got a corner cut. If we had a better outlap, we would have been ahead of him. Hello, Diaz. Oh, dang. That was aggressive. Thank you for the push. A little bit of a slide job there. Oh, thank goodness that caught. Come on, we're up to P5. Every pit stop, we keep moving up some spots. Can we get into the podium? Uh, oh, they got the advantage. Nope. It was just slowing us down, battling on that outside. I should have gave up the position. Caught him on the next turn. Now Gonzalez is caught back up to us. Low fuel. Got a little bit of damage in that one. Oh, Diaz. Right, we got an advantage on the entering the next turn. They're going to switch up on us as well. We're going to get the inside of this one, though. No! Don't get your nose under there. And they're going to go an extra lap. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. We don't got to go all the way to 100. We always have 10 left, so we got to keep that in mind. All right, solid outlap. Come on. Let's have a good outlap. As I miss my turns. Overdriving it, man. Overdriving it. Just be clean. Get ahead of Diaz. At least he was battling Gonzalez still. So hopefully that was slowing him down. I hope everyone else is going to need an extra stop at the end of this one because I have a feeling we're going to... All right, we came out ahead of Diaz, well ahead of Diaz. Great job by the pit crew. And we had a great outlap as well. <clears throat> we just got to keep up with the consistency here. Chris Murphy, please. I have no time for this. Blue flag. You know what blue flags mean? This is tiring, man. This is a long race. I've already, all the other episodes or races in this episode, I did just before this too. My hands are kind of tired at this point. This is a long race. Probably could have done club, but wanted to add a little bit of a challenge. And we got it here today. So far, though, I feel like like we obviously, because of the qualifying position, we aren't in the running for the race. But I feel like we're running pretty well. I don't want to jinx myself. But consistency-wise, we haven't made one of those classic bearded mistakes just yet. Everyone watching is like, oh, why'd he say it?
Overdrove that a little bit. And we're in P4. We gotta hit the pits one more time. And I'm gonna need a little bit of extra fuel this time just because we gotta get down all the way down the straightaway. I really should have been saving some time only going to like 90 so. Uh, the first few stops. Not doing it this late, but it is what it is. I didn't get to 100, even though I said I wanted to. So that last straightaway is going to be a little tough, I think. We might run out of fuel. We're going to have to save a little bit. Hopefully we cycle back up to uh, a nice position. The leader's in the pit, Sofer. Hashim takes over the race lead. The race is all spread around the track. This is cool. Not sure who's going to win. I wasn't really paying attention to the leaders just yet. Ooh. All right, Akamanzi. Oh, there's Diaz back there. Oh my goodness, dude. Can we have the spot, please? All right, Hashim's hitting the pits. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, so good. Oh, Hintanon. Oh, Hintanon gets a little loose on the curb. We got a little damage from that. We got ahead of him. And I think Galanis might have to pit again, too. I think they're on a different strategy. I hope that we have enough. I hope we don't have to pit again. Uh-oh. I think we might. I think we might. I should have probably been saving a little bit more fuel in this run. I don't think we belong here. We're going to get the fuel warning. Gosh darn it. All right, we crossed the 28. Going to save a little bit. No, there's no way. We're going to give that spot up. See how much I can save. No way. I mean, I'm going to go for it. No, it's not. We're going to... We're. I should have just got a little splash in the pits. Can you push us, Diaz? Thank you. Oh, no. Five. Three. Two, one. Oh, we're going to run out of fuel. Yep. Might as well just get as much momentum as I could there. Oh, no. We're going to lose all these spots. Oh, rough day here at Tilk Sport. Rough day indeed. I should have splashed. I knew I didn't have it, but I didn't know what else to do. If we would have splashed, maybe I could have saved myself a few of these spots. Oh, right at the end, Akamanzi. Hey, at least we finished ahead of Chris Murphy. Well, Tilk Sport, he once again ripped my heart out. All right, well, that's going to do it for today and Circuit Superstars. Hope you enjoyed that four-race episode. The finale will be up next with our three races to close it out. Obviously, we're not really in the running for the championship, but we could try to break into the top three so we can get P2 or P3 over the final three races. Uh, some of these are decent tracks for us. Fonza, we sometimes break out a decent race. Renvor, I'm pretty quick at. And then uh, Thunder Point will be a challenge. It's like Tilk Sport, super long. Uh, it's, it's a tough one, but it'll be a good finale. See you there. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Till next time. Peace out.